girl Immaculate Mora and you're back again with another interesting video. I'm sorry for the inconsistency, you know. Hey, these are busy days. Being a grown up, yo, the only free time you get is the time you're in the shower, you're in the bathroom. That's the only free time you get. But otherwise, today is another day where we get to interact, where we aim to school as we get schooled. And yes, as you have read the title of the video, what are we learning today? Yes. How to pack our little one's swimming bag yes and as you can see i am joined by a lot of nothing and and a lot of something i want us to learn how to pack for our little ones uh on swimming because like i have ever accompanied a little girl for swimming now maybe notice for swimming so today i want us to to nini to learn about how to pack your kids swimming bag, your little sister, your little brother, someone, yeah, your baby, yes. So yeah, what you need first of all is definitely you need a bag, a little bag. Okay, my my little brother, my little sister. Okay, my little baby here is a female. It's a girl, so that is why I have a pink bag. But preferably, whatever bag color you have is okay. So yeah, so in this bag, we're gonna put everything that. Our baby is going to need for swimming today so what goes in first we said a colored towel preferably not a white towel i hope you i know this is the towel i used last time yes it's the only one that i have for swimming <laughs> yeah anyway yes use a colored towel then the next thing that's nimeshika is a name tag okay swimming mambo kwa mengi vitu upotea to like child's property was not potter and so i thought it was needful if you have a name tag that is labeled the child's name so that in case you they can be able to announce at the at the reception desk or somewhere so and so get your bag this is my name tag it has my name and my title so yeah but if i had a kid it would have had her or his name yes then a bathrobe Yes, this is for my daughter. If I ever get a daughter, baby daddy, I am ready. Niko nangu tayari. So yeah, a bathrobe. You know how cold it can get while swimming. So the towel is to dry the baby. And this is to keep the child warm. Because, hey, swimming gets cold. Yeah. Ama, that, is, that one is being too extra. I don't know. I will tell me in the comment section. For those who have been packing for their kids for swimming, niambie. Then we also have a swimming costume. This is mandatory. You definitely have to pack for your baby a swimming costume because what are they going to use swimming? Then we also have swimming goggles. I got a new pair of goggles. Yes. But I will give them to my baby if... Okay. Now something else. Remember to adjust the length, the, this, the length of your baby's swimming goggles so that they can fit them properly. If you can't do it, ask the lifeguard on duty to help you with that. Then, most definitely you need a swimming cap, especially if it's a girl. But okay, both genders need swimming caps. But yeah, most especially in Kenya, I see I see only girls using. But with time, I will tell you why both genders need a swimming cap. So yeah, a swimming cap goes into the bag. I think we're going to put this inside the, the exterior pocket because they are tiny components. So we're going to fit them in there. I actually have a pocket for this. A minute. Yes. <laughs> ah, yes. So, I told you you put these goggles inside a case to avoid the lens from damaging. Then you put the case inside the bag. Yeah, it's not big. You can put it in there. Then definitely you need mafuta ya kupaka mtoto. Here we have mafuta ya kao. Because dream to turn a fuck come after Gani poor because ni miskia to kisema oh sent just a lot of shenanigans. Now we're going to use mafuta ya cow. Then we have baby powder. This is good for the baby's skin. I don't know why. Then we have a polythene bag for putting your costume, your wet costume, so that it doesn't wet the rest of your bag. It goes in there. Then we have a little snack. Make sure you carry a snack for her or him. 
and also had the fruits oh my god i mean the big orange yeah then those ones you can put them in a different bag like okay me i don't have a different bag but i put them in a carrier bag so at a beba two candle definitely you need to hydrate i said the other time you need to take a lot of water while swimming not juice we said water so yeah i think our bag is already fully packed so we zip it up and then we put the water bottle in the exterior pocket of the bag and yeah and then your bag is ready and your snacks are ready yeah but then now here i have a disclaimer there's some establishments that don't allow you to get into the establishments with full food she can actually take them at home so that akifika kwamaji she, she's like she's energized and ready to swim yes what did i forget to put in my bag because i think that video is so brief and to the point and like an adult bag wow but I, I don't have a baby but that is what i would have packed if i had one or if i had a little sibling so yeah let's meet on another video remember to follow me on my instagram at smiley underscore dot mora follow me on my tiktok at immaculate mora one i also have another account for real mora and on twitter at the icon lady don't subs don't miss to subscribe 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 share this video with your friends share take your mom's phone subscribe and watch recommend this video to her friends also yeah so until next time bye stay on board